Hi, my name is Julia Graham. I'm an engineer with RWDI's Vibration and Damping Group. I work on the prediction and mitigation of vibration in many different scenarios. Some examples are the vibration of tall buildings in the wind, the vibration of foundations supporting sensitive equipment, and the vibration of structural floors. Floor vibrations can become problematic if the motions are large enough that they cause annoyance or, in extreme cases, even panic. Recently, we worked on a project where such large-scale vibrations were a concern. This project involved a ballroom in a resort facility, and the unsupported area of the ballroom is more than 25,000 square feet, and the ballroom could have as many as 2,300 people in it at any time. So floor vibrations can become excessive when the natural frequency of the floor lines up with the frequency of excitation. This is a resonant response. In long-span ballrooms, we have a couple things working against us. First, the floor is very flexible, so that means that the natural frequencies are likely to line up with the frequencies of people dancing. And then we also have music playing, so that means that people are likely to dance or bob in time with the music. In this scenario, we have the potential for many people to all be moving at frequencies that cause the floor to resonate. To predict the vibration response of the floor, we needed to construct a model that accurately represents the dynamic interaction between the crowd and the structure. When the mass of the crowd is significant compared to the mass of the structure, as is often the case in ballrooms and stadium grandstands, it is necessary to consider the dynamic interaction between these two systems. The crowd adds significant mass and damping to the system, which effectively modifies the dynamic properties of the system. If the dynamic interaction between the crowd and structure is not considered, as is the case in more simplistic models, then it's likely that higher than accurate accelerations will be predicted in the floor. We used a finite element method model to predict the dynamic properties of the floor, and then we worked with the architect and owner to uh, develop an accurate representation of the people within the ballroom. We needed to consider not only the number of people, but also their locations and frequencies of damping and the percentage of people dancing versus standing or sitting still. We used these expected people layouts both to determine the loading scenarios for the floor and also to determine the dynamic properties of the crowd. We then used dynamic principles to combine the dynamic properties of the floor and the dynamic properties of the crowd to create a crowd structure model to which the dynamic loads of the crowd were applied. Our analysis showed that under certain loading scenarios, excessive floor motions were likely. To mitigate this response, we recommended tune mass dampers or TMDs. We worked closely with the structural engineer to determine the preferred TMD masses and locations, and then we constructed a model which represented the crowd structure TMD system. And this model actually incorporates four separate dynamic systems, the floor structure, the TMDs, the dancers and the passive crowd. And we were able to use this model to show how the TMDs could effectively mitigate the floor's response.